And uh, you're welcome to uh, Ballinisi Golf Club here in the real heart of Limerick. It's the South Liberties G uh, Club Day. And of course, my first catch of the day is a guy that I knew close on 40 years ago, Declan Madden. I think he was a uh, prop forward with Gary Owen. Uh, so I still have a good memory. And uh, Declan, there, it looks to be wonderful times for Ireland at the moment on the rugby scene. Absolutely, Johnny. Um, I mean, it's, uh, the, the win in New Zealand, winning three or five matches, uh, that includes the Maori win, was unbelievable. And um, to be not but honest, um, it's a high point. And um, but it's another box ticked for Irish rugby and uh, the Royal Cup really at the end of the day we have to carry it on there and uh, take it to another level so there's still a lot of work to be done but um, things are looking good Yeah, things are looking good and I suppose nearer home then in the four provinces uh, Munster, we could do with a good uh, uh, starting campaign again whilst we would wish uh, Leinster and all the rest of them the best of luck and I don't know whether we'd really mean it or not but having said that there's still an Irish province, Leinster, Ulster and Connacht but uh, for ourselves in Munster uh, we could do it a, a good lift Absolutely Johnny but there's a lot of good young lads around Munster and I think they showed last year particularly in the Wasps match they can do a job and I think uh, the opportunity is probably there now for them with a new coach and set up etc to bring them through but I think um, you need the indigenous Munster players playing for Munster and as much as you can rather than depending on overseas imports you always need a few good quality players from overseas but Munster needs uh, its own guys coming through the system and um, and Munster, uh, a strong Munster is so important to Irish rugby overall. Um, you know, it's not funny. We need a strong Munster. That's right, uh, Declan. When one looks at uh, the likes of uh, Peter Mahoney, I mean, uh, he's certainly uh, uh, a legend in, in rugby. Not just saying it now, a legend. Uh, but he, he's an outstanding player. He gives his all for Munster and, and Ireland. Well, in fairness to Peter, uh, he found another gear in New Zealand. He went up a few notches again, and it was unbelievable. He was uh, fantastic, absolutely. I don't know how he does it. He takes so much uh, physical um, uh, attrition on his body, and um, he just keeps coming back. Unbelievable. Yeah. Um, but he's what Monster's all about. And if you could believe that, uh, that Cork uh, great court will say they, they said the cute Cork court he's reputed to have said to the uh, uh, the All Blacks uh, wing forward <laughs> you're only a fourth cousin of Richie McCall's <laughs> that was some statement if you can believe it well, I think he said something along those lines, all right. <laughs> but he, he was right. I, th I think Sam Cain is uh, quite Richie McCaw. Yeah. And um, I think that was a huge weakness in the All Blacks team. <laughs> the back row was not as strong as you'd normally expect. And um, the McCaws, the Jerome Kynos and the Kieran Reeds ain't there anymore. So, um, yeah, uh, he's not. He certainly wasn't telling any lies. And uh, come here to finish up. It's good to know you because uh, now that you'll hopefully be going up in the higher... Uh, circles of uh, IRFU you could be a handy man to know for tickets and things like that <laughs> especially for one who's with the Sky Blue or the, the, the Kilfeekland District RFC Anyway we'll do our best to look after all the clubs Johnny <laughs> <laughs> Thanks very much uh, Hey, and the best it's of luck to you to Thanks you. very much for God Thanks